let's see. I gotta check and see how this works out here, guys. I'm sorry. Um, see if I can find... Oh, here we go. Because I want to be able to... Oh. Whoop. There we go. All right. So you can see my uh, laptop. But what I'm trying to do is uh, kind of get you going here on an ABC art challenge. So there's two different ways that we can do this. I am wanting to do better art or longer art. Not necessarily better, but I want to be able to take my time with this challenge and really have a lot of fun with it and create an incredibly cool book. But I also want to make something that is accessible for you guys um, that you can play around with and have fun too on a smaller scale if you don't want to do something like this. So, um, yeah. So, what is an ABC art challenge? It's basically doing a um, animal a day. Some of my pages are sticking together. Still need to get a few more of these done. Uh, so, it's doing... You can do an animal, you can do a plant, you can do whatever you want to. You do not have to do exactly what I'm doing. And um, you can also draw your own creatures or you could do collage or whatever, whatever floats your boat, basically. The, the goal of this is to uh, just kind of get you doing a daily challenge and to have fun with it. Now, I'm going to be taking some of my inspiration from an artist called um, Deb Weirs. And um, she does these great, uh, great animals, uh, great people. She She's a phenomenal artist. I really dig her. She has a lot of fun with her artwork. You can find her class on uh, Kara Bullock art.com. Now, I have not taken the whole class. I'm going to just say that as a disclaimer because I didn't want it to be too heavily influenced by her, but it is going to be influenced a bit by Deb just because her style is super fun. So if you have any interest, it is a class that you do have to pay for, um, but it's it's really whimsical, fun creatures. And um, this page, this will be Wednesdays? What day is it today? Wednesday's YouTube video will show how we did this one. And this is A, and I decided to do metaphors for my ABCs. So we got ants and pants and apple of my eye. So I'm going to play with fours within my book and, um, yeah, you know, this just took me too long, uh, to do something really super simple. So let's see, do I have anybody in here with me? Probably not. Oh, four people are watching. Hello. Let me make sure that my chat is working. Um, if you would like to say hello, please do. I think that would be awesome. Okay, so we have the letter A. Okay, what tools are we going to use? I like, uh, it's just a gel pen, Uniball Signo 207 Impact, so it's a medium point. It's not a fine point pen. I don't really care for fine point pens, personally. Um, this one here is a Uniball Signo uh, White. It is the UM-153. So where I've used that, if you're going to go through and paint and color, it does great little highlights in here. And so I would really, um, it's just kind of fun for doodling and for going over the top of acrylic paint. It worked excellent. In this piece, I did use my um, Arteza acrylic paints. Some things that you might consider grabbing is some, um, just, this is India ink in black. Uh, you can also use your watercolors. You can use whatever 
things you really want to, uh, to do this challenge, however you would like to do it. So we're going to try to keep these really light and happy and fun. And you guys, I'm seeing are upside down. Hmm. I don't know if I can draw this right side up. <laughs> I don't know if I can draw this so you guys can see it correctly. Uh, let me think about this. Can I draw an ant upside down that makes sense? Ants basically have three three body parts to them. <laughs> They got little legs coming off of this. Nope, I can't draw upside down. This is this is funny. And then he's got two arms. Two arms. And two antenna. Boop. And then you got a couple of eyes. And eyes. And a funny little nose and a smile. <laughs> Those legs got a little wonky here. We'll put this this little boot over here. And uh, this guy will make into a bigger leg here. Give him some knobby knees. This is funny. Um, yeah, probably not the correct way to do this. Um, but what we're going at here, how do I make this so it's right side up? Let me see if I can rotate the picture. Nope, that's going to loop the video. Sorry, guys. This is new. I don't usually do live, um, artwork. So, um, hi, Karen. How are you doing? Hi, Jacqueline. Um, I don't usually do things live like this. And I don't think I can switch this around. So, okay. Well, obviously going live with this every day is not going to work. And um, I really don't want to do um, a video a day. It's, it's very taxing on me. By the time I'm done with it, I have no energy left for a good month afterwards. So, um, you know, I just, see, you can do something just as simple as that. It doesn't have to be some big, um, you know, huge drawing. Oh, he's kind of got, he's kind of an old grumpy ant, isn't he? He's got a little arm here. That's his little butt. So we have to have his legs coming off of his butt there. Um, some knobby knees. <laughs> so the, the point of this is to keep loose and uh, just to have fun with your project just kind of give him a little hand here and uh he's got to have one more arm in here I'm just kind of color in that arm so you can tell his difference now yeah you know could i draw a more perfect ant absolutely uh, but you know we're just wanting to have have fun and enjoy it that's part of what this process is and now you can do this in a book you could do this in a sketchbook like I'm doing, or you can, you know, do a much more elaborate piece. Again, we're just going to try to have fun with our art and, and create things that really inspire us. Let's see. Perhaps on Sunday, thanks for your live channel. Much inspired, great follow with a live book, 5 p.m. Hi, Loria, I'm just reading your comment there. Um, yeah, you know, it, it's it's really hard to do a live feed every single day. And as you can see, you guys are upside down. So, um, okay, so there would be an ant. You can uh, 
particular pen is water soluble. So you have the ability to, you know, kind of shade with your pen here. And, uh, you know, it's kind of using an ink wash to do this. And this is definitely something that I learned from Deb. I didn't realize you could do an ink wash with, uh, with your signal pens, with your gel pens. And what other pens could you work? Any, any gel pen would work for this really. So this gives you some good shading kind of, you know, shade on the underside, leave a little bit of highlight up top. So any, any, um, pen could work for you. Um, uh, and again, the, uh, India ink will work similarly. Um, you can do it with a ink pen or you can use a paintbrush with it. So it, it gives, it gives you a good shading technique. So, all right. So an anteater, I haven't seen an anteater probably since I was a kid, but I think think that they kind of look like this. Now you see where how my hand is so far back. And give him a second little foot and give him a belly. Another foot, another foot. And then I think they have this long tail. So we're going to give them an eye. And give them some, you know, and give them a smile. So um, what I'm going to be doing again with my ABC inspired book is I want to be able to take more time with it. So I'm going to be doing a video a week or actually on YouTube, I'll be doing two videos a week. So, um, I don't know what an anteater looks like. It doesn't matter if you know exactly what something looks like. The point is, is to have fun with it and, uh, to loosen up a little bit. And of course I have a very hard time with loosening up, but with these little fun little sketches, that is what the goal is. So I know this is, uh, um, a little bit hard to see. I know he's got kind of this rounded snout there, <laughs> but so again, um, I won't be doing daily videos with this, but we've got an alligator. Let's see what we can do with an alligator here real quick. So alligator, you have a big old mouth big sharp toothies. He's gonna have a little blowho nose there and then he's gonna have kind of bulging eyes and he's gonna have kind of these fins. We're gonna bring his tail around and then he's gonna have some fun feet. He's gonna have a belly. And he has some more feet. And he's not perfect, and that's that's perfect. <laughs> you know, he's not supposed to be perfect. And we gotta have some more teethies in there. So I just wanted to come in and chat with you guys here and just to give you some examples of how you can play with this project. And, uh, you know, just to let you know that you can do this on your own time. You can um, 
do a quick, simple drawing a day. You can put these guys into some sort of fun environment, which I think would be awesome. Um, you know, you can, we could give him some scales here, maybe. Um, you know, or you can follow along with me and do the, um, more finished pages, which I will be doing again on YouTube on Wednesdays and Saturdays on my regular scheduled days that I, uh, have my videos. So I would love to see if you guys are doing, you know, kind of a simpler sketch like this. If you guys uh, want to show it over at Messy Hand Band of Artists, I would love to see what you're working on. And um, now I'm, I am squeezing out some of the water with that. I squeezed out a little bit too much. Now this is a mixed media paper, so it is holding on to the ink more so than other paper would. So you're paper but if you put a little bit of water down it definitely moved it very quickly um, but yeah that's am I finishing sentences I don't know if I'm finishing sentences do what makes you happy on this uh, the point is is to get out your um, paintbrushes and to to try to make some fun art on your own it's it's not meant to be super challenging it's not meant to frustrate you it's meant to inspire you to have some fun with your artwork it's hard to do sometimes sometimes your artwork can get really frustrating especially right now with with everything going on you know we have uh, your creativity is always affected by, you know, life of life events and things like that. So just realize that don't pick on yourself too much. If you're not feeling very inspired, I I'm having a hard time being inspired myself lately. So, um, but there is an alligator. Let me flip this around for you guys. So the goal here is to just keep light keep whimsical don't think that you have to make an exact alligator you don't you don't there's no rules to this and you know if, if you want to do you know kind of a children's book style this is a great way to get into more of an illustrative style and um, you know really lighten up and have fun with things um, again, for the animal a day, I think it's an awesome challenge, ABC animals. And, uh, you know, it's, um, you know, especially with the fact that I can't get you guys filmed the right direction here. I, again, I don't think I'll be able to do it. Um, I can't do a live feed, that's for sure. And if I don't do a live feed, then I'm having to edit every single video every single day and that's a lot a lot of work it is you guys have no idea okay so what do we think here let me see if we have any more comments oh there's only three people watching so yep all right so uh that's it guys um you know we're just gonna have fun and play with it all right We'll chat later. Bye. Let's see, how do I end this? <laughs>